and then nice. contacted them and sent them a form and said, tell me, because we didn't know. All we yes. knew was yes. two brothers came from Ireland or Scotland and everybody was sent from that. That from was there. the folklore in our family. I see. And so um, when I did that like when I was in maybe ninth grade, and then one year I came home from college and my father said, you got to go meet this gentleman. Um, I've been told about it, Victor Plaskett in Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. So we went down together. Yeah. And we interviewed him. And of course, he was Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. And, uh -huh. um, and your aunt, Lily. Lily, no, yes. Was she's it was Who was living with him? Well, Bernice also. She came, she was in the New York, came back. I think it was Bernice who was living with him at the time. And I could go back and because I have letters from both of them. Uh -huh. But she was more so, um, you know, don't worry about the yeah. past, you know, about saving souls, blah, 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 oh, you know. yeah, So that yeah, was her focus, yeah, but he yeah. was happy to talk about yeah, the family. Yeah. And so he gave me his information on um, children's names and everything. That's why I knew about your father. Oh, I never yeah. met him, but I knew him. Okay. And then um, I remember he said to me, what's your last name again? And I said, mm -hmm. Jacobs. And he said, did you know that's a Jacobs? And at the same time, my father and I answered, and I said, that's yeah. my grandfather. And my father said, that's my, my father. father. <laughs> and he said, well, I grew up with Milton. And we knew nothing about my grandfather except his name. Yes. And we had a family Bible that had his parents' names. My aunt had a family Bible that had yes. his parents' yes. names. Yes. And so he was the one who told us where my grandfather grew up in Fredericksburg. Yes. He was the one who told us that my grandfather had a brother. Uh -huh. that nobody knew about okay. and who had died as a teenager oh. and um, he died of Hansen's disease which is leprosy. Oh, leprosy? And, yeah. Wow. And at that Whoa. time there was, still, yeah. there was still in the late 1800s there mm -hmm. was still a leper co colony here. Oh. And then um, he told us his name which was Frank and my father had a brother named Frank. Right. And so now we knew that he got named after his uncle, but nobody knew. The story never got passed on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it was really an eye-opener for us because we knew my grandfather's family was from Fredericksburg, but that's yeah. all we knew. Yeah. So now all of a sudden we had, they grew up in Colombia and we had a brother named Frank yeah. who died you know, right there. Yeah. So it was yeah. always, you know, focus on the president. Yes, you know. yes. Um, but very polite. Yes. You know, very, uh -huh. And so I treasure having some letters and from him. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just a cousin I met like four years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, her name is Lorraine. Mm -hmm. And when we speak, you know, I was talking about the election back when Obama was first right. right. And I said, the voting, I wanted everybody. And she says, uh, we don't vote at the system. And then she gave me a long text of scripture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and just everything about the whole of God. And I said, well, I went back to myself, and it was okay, I didn't get yeah, it, but she got a little, I thought a little, you know, uh, happy about it, so. So, yeah. you didn't know, you didn't grow up knowing your aunts and uncles? Yes, I knew them vaguely, you see. Okay. Um, I, my mother and father separated when I was three. Okay. I'm, from okay. the first, I'm the first born. Okay. And, but I've been in touch with my father throughout the years. Okay. And um, so I didn't get to know what he said. I knew I seen my brother, the oldest sister. I don't know any of my uncles, Will or uh, Victor. I met, I met my grandfather. And he used to call me girl. <laughs> and then I met um, my other aunts. I knew Aunt Alma. So she's, they're all up. They were all up. You want to come to the lot. Is anybody she <laughs> was from the second marriage? She's, yeah, she's from the second marriage. She's, she's the only one. Okay. Yeah. I thought, yes. I thought I had asked to that. Yes. I, I was curious also about the first my first, my grandmother, mm -hmm. the first wife, mm -hmm. my grandfather's first wife. I don't know anything about her. If I remember correctly, her name, even. she's a name. I want to say my first name. Mm -hmm. Let me go look for my computer. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go into the library mm -hmm. for a minute. Oh, yeah. And I'll yeah. look at it. Oh, okay. 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 So um, let me just finish one thing with Summer. All right. And I'll meet you.
Shiram Dean by the name of Carl Lewis. Mm -hmm. Negotiated a loan and purchased a little language. Mm -hmm. You know, when he walked into the house. Well, let me go. The cellar was the area where they kept the different perishables. So that was used for food preservation. Mm -hmm. And this great house had a gallery, a master bedroom, a dining room, a parlor room. And because it was designed at a time when they had no electricity, you know, the kitchens were separate. Mm -hmm. Because not having fire departments mm -hmm. that we have today. Mm -hmm. But it was very dangerous. Mm -hmm. The furniture dates back to the 17 and 1800 except that piece. A black one mm -hmm. that goes back to 1635. Mm. That was made from Oakwood and it's called English Wayne Scott. Most of them was made from mahogany. Mm -hmm. um, this piece was made from Tibet. Tibet is a tree they call here the mother in law's town. It's a tree with a yellow part hanging from it. Mm -hmm. one in the part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a and one of the side projects that Tom was in at the King Frederick of Fifth. Christian said Tom was in at the King Christian of Sixth. Okay, um, let's take a look at this, some other pieces. I forgot to mention, take note of the oval shaped ceilings. That is French influence. It causes the air to circulate. Okay. Now, this is Danish design. This causes the heat to rise. Okay. Okay. Also designed to keep away heat and trap the trade winds. The walls are 30 inches thick. Charge, charge extra taxes. 
just thinking. It's the family tour. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure if if I should. I don't know. Maybe I should find out first because it's a uh, the fam the Lawet's family tour. Mm -hmm. The information I'm giving you right. is the Lawet's family tour. Okay. Is the information that I used well, to give to the, the public. Yeah, but the Danes, the guy um, Carl Lawet's, mm -hmm. he came in 1896. Right. Actually, Herman Lawet's, who was a minister, encouraged him to come, right. and he bought. He worked as a manager at Cyan Farm Estate. Okay. Later on, he bought 19 acres of Little Lagrange, right. and um, he raised cattle. So you say uh, we were saying that the Danes seem to be the nicer masters? No, 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 no. The masters came from different areas from Europe. Okay. They were Irish, English, Scottish, mm -hmm. but they all bought their estates from the Danish West India Company ah. at that time. The Danes were the government. It was the Danish West Indies. But oh. the planters, they bought the estates from the Danish government. Oh, I see. Yeah, don't that's listen to us. That's, <laughs> that's, no, that's I have two listeners. Oh, <laughs> I need to start a tour now. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. But it was the big It says something like in sacred memory of um, John Plas Is it John? Yeah, John Plaskett, um, who died on such and such date, yes. at such and such age. So you can work back, back his birthday, birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and of his wife Isabel, and the same thing: the oh. date of death, full date of death, and the age of death, yeah. and of their son Wilford, who died on the passage of Saint Croix, and this son who died on Saint Croix, and this other son who died in England, late of St. Croix. Okay. And so he goes through six, five boys, mm -hmm. and of the two sisters, the two daughters, two daughters. same thing. Mm -hmm. And so, and then at the end it says something like, this is caused to be erected by their son Joseph of St. Croix, Joseph Plaskett. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is in 1848. And he has oh. the plaque erected, I believe, around July. Mm -hmm. And then apparently either the plaque wasn't completed mm -hmm. or there had been space at the bottom yes. because then the sign maker adds to it mm -hmm. and also in memory of Joseph Plaskett who died at St. Croix September 5th, 1848. Oh. So shortly after mm -hmm. he commissioned this, yes. he died. But the plaque is a family tree. Mm -hmm. So that's how we went from the story mm -hmm. of two brothers mm -hmm. to actually knowing that there were yes. six brothers and two sisters. Right. And that all the brothers headed to St. Croix, but one didn't make it. One died on the way. I see. And that's how that's we got their parents' names and everything. So Winnie took that plaque mm -hmm. and then started going through the census records and the church records, mm -hmm. trying to trace, okay, then who are their descendants? Yes. And that's why she has all these binders. Oh, that's about so class. Yeah. She this has is her cousin, Winnie. Mm. So you're Winnie. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. Oh, yes. wow. So <laughs> Winnie and I, it turns out that Winnie and I are descended from, Winnie and I and mm -hmm. the cousin who got the picture yes. are descended from the Joseph who did the plaque. Okay. All that's, right. That's, yes. we, we, he's our 
great, great, great grandfather. Okay. And so okay. we have uh -huh. him, and we pretty much know because he left the will when he died. Uh -huh. He had almost all the brothers and children with black women. Okay. Um, I don't think any of the brothers were married. I see. But in, for instance, in his will, and there's a copy in that folder I was telling you, it's hard to read because it's a very dark yes. thing, but he actually leaves property to his children mm -hmm. and to Angelita James, the mother of my children. Oh. So he actually recognizes so nice. her yes. and leaves property. Um, one of his brothers, Timothy, um, didn't he had they all own slaves yes they all own slaves yes timothy at his death mm -hmm. frees his children mm -hmm. and their mother and gives the mother the name plaskin because oh. he lists her as sophia plaskin oh. there's no record they ever got married mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he actually gives her his name mm -hmm. yes. because he names her plaskin yes. in the century yeah, so you know there's it's a mixed experience when you're doing this yes. because okay you're so excited because you found these ancestors you finally yeah. know where the name plastic came mm -hmm. from but then as you research them you realize they all own slaves i see yes yeah. yes and so there's this mixed thing uh -huh. um and then so we've been able to follow timothy because we've got his children got uh -huh. his wife um the two who got here first john and these are the slave masters the, yeah okay of the brothers that came there's one named uh -huh. john in the records baptizing a number of children I see. but it never says that he is their father, the father. I he's see. Be, but because the way the church kept the record is they were baptizing an enslaved person mm -hmm. they listed the slave owners I see. I see. so we could assume that they're john's children mm -hmm. so far we don't know yeah and i don't know if you got to meet the lady that was singing cariso no, mm. I mean, did you go to the she drummer? Was in the room. No, we yeah. didn't. She was in the room. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's descended from one of those children that John baptized. Oh. So in her case, we don't know. We were just talking about this the other yeah. day that Another we need to talk to somebody who knows about DNA yeah. to see mm. how do we test to see if she's related by blood to the plastics. Oh yeah. Or right. you know, did he just take on the name when he got free? I so see. that's one of the next steps yeah. for us is to yeah. figure out right. is it a male? We need to. Have, who who yeah. needs to be tested? Yeah, to see if we can figure that out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, it's just yeah, amazing. I understand and that. I mean, yeah. I had I was really blessed to meet your grandfather because I was yeah. away at school. Oh, I could have missed it. Yes. But yes. I came home, and my you father said, you know, I mm -hmm. found out about this gentleman. You gotta meet him. Uh -huh. And when I met him, and so his records, his information is some of the oldest information I have. Ah, but. It's always been hard to find these other brothers yes. that his father had, because yes. there are other Timothys, yeah, and there's other Maximilians. Okay, but I can't find a Joseph, a Timothy, and a Maximilian together in one household. I see. So until we find one of their baptisms, mm -hmm. and he gives us, an, so we we track everything. We we put down everybody we find. Yes. We put them down because sooner or later they're connected somehow. So yes. We'll yes. Find that out. 